Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in our video, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So recently we just left off with the Road Utilities introduction video. Now, if you haven't watched that video, feel free to go watch that video. Um, you guys probably searched this video up and wondering how to make an application center. Now this uh, video was directly from this other video, so feel free to please go and watch that video. Um, it'll be on the screen right now. And if you go and watch that video, you will learn how to get logged in and ready for this. And we're going to get straight into this. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe button and turn on that post notifications it means so much to me everybody and um you know we're almost at 29,000 subscribers which is amazing and if you want join the discord in the description because we are almost at 2k members and we are doing a giveaway very soon here um all right so basically we are in here now you should have this all set up it should be looking like this you should have your group right here now if you don't have your group make sure to add group right here and uh, make sure you are the owner of the group of course and you are going to click manage now um oh i am signed into my mix out actually oh, gosh of course i'm signed in let me uh, log out real quick and sign in back into my other one all right, so I'm actually gonna put this on the screen in the bottom. Um, so basically, you're gonna go right here and click manage. Now, there's gonna be a few things. Now you're gonna see that there's the activity, rank center, and applications. We are gonna be focusing on the application center today. So if you click manage right here, you are going to see that there is this twins application center. This is because I created it. If you did not create yours, you're gonna click new center right here. When you click new center, it is basically just gonna bring you to this. It's gonna look like this in a way. Um, and you are going to do a few things. Um, first of all, we're gonna look at admin real quick. I mean, actually, we're gonna uh, we're gonna create a new application. So you click new application. Now this is the female rank application. Um, so I'm actually just gonna keep mine because this is actually set up for me in the, my group. Um, basically, if you uh, click new application, it's gonna pop down and have you manage it. Now it's gonna be like this. Now this this is me I already checked in it and um, I'm gonna explain how all of this works so we have questions settings automation and monetization now you don't need to worry about monetization automation you can do automatic grading now automatic grading will help you um, basically grade it in a certain way so percent to pass is a hundred percent normally um, so I'd recommend doing that um, if you want to do like 50% to pass for like a cafe you can but you're just gonna want to do that now automatic grading, you know you can just we'll worry about this later um so settings right here so this is where you're going to name the application now how this is going to work is when you join the game and i'm going to really show you in a bit here um how when you join the game it's basically going to send you over to the row utilities hub and it's going to get your data and all this stuff and it's going to find your applications you have for your group now there's going to be a bunch of applications if you have a bunch of them but this is going to be named with more rank and you're going to have a description so you can name this whatever you want so feel free to do that you're going to click save right here then you're gonna go down here and you're gonna look at a few things now there's response collection i think that's already on um apply button text you can turn that those on if you want minimum age isn't saying like a, a certain group age to join to actually just do this application um and then there's a cooldown. there's a verification as in saying do they need to have a verified row utilities account or discord account um that's a way of double checking it now i've not actually tested that but i think if you do verification like that you can just click save and it should um automatically do that um, but I wouldn't recommend that to be honest um, and then there's the group requirements now this is another thing you can do with the applications you can actually create like multiple applications for certain ranks so as in saying let's say you wanted this group rank to only be visible let's say or able to do for a certain rank above so let's say for a junior uh, uh, I don't know like uh, developer to apply for something senior developer you would basically put that rank number right here like one two three and then maximum rank one two four um kind of like that so that's about it so nothing too crazy in here and make sure you click save um so just mess with this all you want nothing too crazy um and then we're going to go into the questions so you can click new question i already have this right here so i'm going to click manage and it's going to pop up something like this you're going to put the name of the title so let's say you are doing a drink you could say you know uh Let's say, you know, how do you handle a customer when you do this? So there is a few things. There's multiple choice. There's short answer. There's paragraph, checkbox, typing speed, number, and scale number. Now, I've never 
didn't even think they had typing speed. That's really cool. Um, so all of these are different. Um, multiple choice is honestly the easiest one and the best one because that's something a lot of people just use in normal documents and quizzes and stuff. So I'd recommend doing that. But what you're going to do is you're just going to type in here. So I said, you said, I said yes or no, because that's easy. Um, or you could say maybe, you know, and you click the plus and it says this is wrong, this is wrong, but this is right. So if you are female and you click yes, then that is right. Um, now, if you want to delete one, you just get rid of it. Um, but yeah, so let's say I add maybe and that's wrong. You know, this could be correct if you wanted to too, but this is multiple choice and there's only one one an correct answer. Now, um, checkbox, I'm pretty sure would be multiple like answers correct. But um, so that'd be working. That'd work. So now, of course, I have the question and it is created. Now you can delete the question right here, whatever you want. Um, we're going to go into responses. Now, once you're in responses, um, you can see I already have mine. I'm just going to show you guys quickly. So I'm actually going to delete this and actually go into the game and do it. So I'm going to just click. I'm going to just click delete and bada beam, bada boom. We don't have it anymore. So that's about it. You have the application center ready. And um, all you have to do now is actually go back to dashboard, go to manage right here, and you're going to go to applications. Okay. And application center right here, that center that you made, you're going to look at this. So you're going to um, see there's staff. I never even knew there was like a way of adding staff, which is really cool. Um, there's bands as well. There's audit logs and then there's admin. So you're going to go into admin and this is where the big importance comes in. So you are going to click this button right here. It's going to say download Roblox center. Now, when you download this, it's going to download a Roblox file. Just click it right away. And I'm not going to do it because I already have it open right here. You're just going to download it and it is going to open up this whole Roblox studio. And we're going to hop on that in a second. But we have this twins application center as a name. Just hit save. You know, that's perfect. Um, this is another settings. You can disable copy and paste. That's a good thing. Um, you can hit save. And it uh, looks like this is another users to experience after applying, which is really cool. That'll be really nice. Um, they are going to do two factor authentication um, and then integrations, of course, which we're going to talk about in a second here. Um, so Roblox bot, we are going to need. And of course, um, no, that is not what it was. Um, I think we, where did I, what did I do for this? Yeah, so I already put this in. I wonder why that happened. So basically you're going to up put this right here and you're going to turn it on hit configure and you're going to put in the roblox bot username and password so actually i think i had mine already let me just type it in right here um and they are updating it so basically that's another way so uh i don't need that we are now linking to check back in 10 minutes so that's basically what's going to work now we have the staff and center report you can also do this later um but so that's going to be the roblox bot so the roblox bot you're gonna to need to create this. Now, I wouldn't recommend using a main account. I'm using one of my alt accounts, so that's fine. But you're basically gonna to wanna to make in your group. So I have, uh, let's say this guy right here, he's an admin, and it's called your mix salad. Um, if you have a bot, you can call it, you know, group ranking bot. You are going to want to rank it in your group and make sure in your group, when you configure it, this bot right here, is going to be um, the admin and it is going to allow to uh, manage lower ranked members. That's the main key. Um, the reason for that is that's going to be automatically group ranking them. Now there is a tutorial on this, but it, it was really old and I wanted to make a, you know, a better one, but just create a separate account, like a new Roblox account, add them to the group, rank them and make sure they are have admin and can do this. Now that's pretty much easy and make sure it's above. Oh, no, see that that's not good. Now, there we go. Um, so that's about it. Now, once you have that bot, you basically are just putting in the Roblox username and the bot password. So we'll allow it to go inside of it and do its thing. Now we have the design editor right here. So if you click this right here, you are able to design your application center the way you want it to. So there is background color. So let's say we have this right here. Um, you could do black. Um, I really like just the white basic blue. Um, you can change it to like a vibe, you know, if you wanted to something like that. It's really up to your recommendations. There's all these colors, um, as you can tell. Um, and that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy. And once you just mess with this, you know, you can just uh, click OK right here. And that's about it. And it's ready for you to uh, configure. Now, I, I really do love this. I think this is amazing how they have the, you know, whole design thing. And it's like all from Roblox and from a website. I think it's amazing. I, I, I could not figure this out on my own. Um, so, 
yeah, that's that's it. It should be ready. So now what we're going to do, as we, of course we have this application, we're actually just going to go in here because I'm going to be responding to this in a second. So I'm going to be opening up Roblox Studio. This is what it should look like. So let me just pause this real quick. All right, so this is what it should look like. Um, you should have the welcome to Row Utilities, um, and it should just say this. So basically, you're going to publish this to your group. Now, what I mean by this, you're going to go to Publish Roblox as, go to your group and make sure you have an application center and hit Create or whatever, or Create New Game, and it is going to be published. That is all you have to do, but go into Game Settings, go to Security, and allow third-party teleports and HTTP requests. So those are the only things you need to allow. Um, I just did all of them because, you know, why not? Um, and what's going to happen is when, and you can also configure this. So, you know, configure how you like, put your icons, your thumbnails, all that kind of jazz. What's going to happen is when a player joins this game, it is going to send them to the talent hub, which I'm going to show you guys in a sec here. And then it is going to basically do that whole procedure of asking them for applications. And it's going to basically automatically rank them. So it is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so let's actually pause this real quick. And I'm going to just join the game all right so as you guys can tell it is loading us into the row utility hub it just teleported me there and now we have the application center so as you of course that is the name of the thing and of course it has this um basically scroll frame depending on how it would work so we have the female rank app and applied now this is basically what i mean so if you have more applications it's going to duplicate it into the scroll frame and it is going to put all the applications so i'm going to click apply now it does this cool animation got the loading and we have plenty of answers for us right here now if i were to have more questions you're going to see real quick so if i click yes it is going to say all this you can do back next you know you can choose whatever you want i got no you can do yes shows us what's highlighted um and then this is it see how it says question one out of one this is very simple you can click next and it grades it and success so basically i have been ranked and i will be able to um have our new rank and I pass the test now if you don't pass the test I'm pretty sure there actually I'm gonna show you guys in a sec here there is a way of timing out so it tells you like you can time out how long they are till they can come and do this again um, so I, I'll show you that in a second here but that's it that's basically how it will work now I really can't wait for them to add that into uh, that new integration where it teleports them back to the experience I think that'll be really really cool but um, yeah, so th there's a big difference from using our own application center to this new this new um, Royal Utility Center. All right, so now that we're here, you can see that I don't have any responses, but if I refresh, it should just put them right here. Now I didn't hit accept, but I think it's because I um, yeah. So what can happen is if you hit profile. Actually, sorry, read. Um, it pops up everything. It pops up, um, you know, it will pop up their game visits, their device, their app status, and, you know, last online duration, like how long it took them to do it, which is honestly so cool. Um, and they clicked yes, notes, you can just, you know, put some notes in, process, report, decline. And if I click upset, accept, um, they will be in the accepted, not in the decline, processing all on red, which, of course, you know, this is red. And, um, yeah, so it, it is really cool um i don't like i don't know how to put it that way but it's really awesome now another thing is you can also just go and rank them yourself at the same time if you need to i um, mean you can just look at all these applications so if you want to do long answers like you know when i when i talked about if you want to do short answers or paragraphs it's it's really nice now you can also create like a feedback or a suggestion channel and i may actually make a tutorial center so where i'll just like have you guys putting suggestions there and i'll just check the applications here but so um i think right here cool down yeah so this is where it is cool down in seconds so if you guys are wanting to think in seconds let's say um how many seconds are in a day i'm i think i should know this to be honest uh, yeah eight, eighty-six thousand. so let's say you wanted them to wait this long you could just click that right here and um it'll basically have them wait that long if they haven't met that cooldown so that's about it um, that is the application center. I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial on the application center. Um, we are going to be talking about the rank center in the next video. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't signed up, make sure to and use that affiliate link in the description. And um, that's about it, you guys. I will get, see you later in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.